Welcome to Irish TV. I'm your host, Johnny Kelly. And I'm the co-host, Alex Burt. Uh, we'll start this session with our game last weekend. We competed in round one of the National Cup against the Hallam Sharks. Here are the highlights. They were the highlights from the Sharks game. How do you feel it went? I thought the game went great. For round one, we beat the Holland Sharks by about 50 points. Um, they did hang close with us around the first, second quarter, but I think our momentum throughout the game and our energy really flowed us into a good first round victory. I agree. I think it was an all round effort, and it, it showed with the stats that everybody contributed, and it shows the depth of our squad this year is going to be really competitive. Uh, what are your thoughts for the Nottingham Hoods game in the next round? Um, I'm very confident in our team that we're going to be able to get through the second round and continue to move forward in the National Cup. Um, although I don't know much about the team we're going to be competing against, I'm confident in the chemistry that we've already developed as a team. I'm confident in our style of play. Um, and I really think our uh, successful momentum is going to carry us through. It's about improving every week. Uh, hopefully we can get a lot of fans down there to encourage us. Um, and if we improve every week, then that's all we can really ask as a group. Um, and if the fans are there encouraging us, then we'll make sure we put our best out, out on the line for you. Next up is the highlights from this weekend with the Worcester Wolves in the Patriots Cup. Go, go, go. 
They were the highlights from day one of the Patriots Cup doubleheader against Worcester on a Saturday with a good win and lots of impressive play and highlights to be seen. Alex, how do you feel the game went? I thought the game was a huge success and that we started off the Patriots Cup the right way. Um, we definitely took care of the rebounding numbers and one thing that was very interesting for us as a club is that we had 28 assists on 39 field goals. Um, in any game situation, that's exactly what you want in terms of teamwork and in terms of efforts on the offensive end for our team. Uh, winning the game by 19 points gives us a good start to the Patron Cup, and I'm looking forward to the future of the Cup. It was good to see that everybody contributed again on that, uh, on that win on the Saturday. Everybody came on, did a part, whether it was a hustle play, a good shot, uh, good rebounds, blocks, alley-oop dunks. Everyone made a play, and I think that's good going forward for the group. Next up is day two of the Patriots Cup doubleheader against Liverpool. Here are the highlights. And there are the highlights of day two of the Patron Cup for the Arrows Basketball Club. Uh, Johnny, tell me a little bit about the game and how you think the Arrows team will be looking going forward in the, in the Patron Cup. I think it was obviously a tough loss and, and we gave ourselves, you know, we dug ourselves a big hole in the first half. Um, and I was immensely proud of the, the character to come, come back in the second half and, and make a game of it. And, and really when it came down to the stretch, um, they had some lucky rolls and we had some unlucky rolls. I, I felt that we really ought to have won the game in the end, but sometimes in basketball it just doesn't quite go for you. But I feel that we worked them out. Um, and their scoring slowed dramatically in the second half, and I feel that we opened up some key doors. Um, and obviously a lot of re uh, game reviews uh, for us to do as a group, so we can go next week and, and get a win. Obviously, only losing by three um, brings an interesting little twist to the to the league table because if we win by four, then we have the head to head, and it would only be a, a win against Worcester that would take us through to the semi final. So, a big weekend, and obviously, I think that the whole team is is optimistic going into Saturday's uh, crunch game. Absolutely, and I agree with everything you just said, Johnny. And I also look forward to our practices for this upcoming week. Um, because I think we're going to end up being well prepared for next weekend's game. Next up now is a new feature, Would You Rather with Andreas Lykoudis. State your name and your team. Uh, Andreas Lykoudis, Arrows Men. Would you rather yeah. win £100,000 for yourself yeah. or a million pounds for the club? A million pounds for the club. Would you rather make the NBA or win every Arrows game for 10 years? Would you rather have Phil Jackson coach you or the Kelly family? Kelly family. Would you rather <laughs> Would you rather have the Arrows win every game for two years or the Sharks lose every game for ten years? Arrows win every game for two years. In one word, describe the following. Big boss. Legends. Kelly family. Legends. Killer Marsh. Oh. Drumfield. Second home. 
Arrows. Favourite overseas player and why? Um, is, um, probably Darren Best. Because uh, when I was uh, him, Rob was my first one when I was 16, but when I was 17 it was the first season I played for him. Um, and he was the one who taught, like, taught me all the time, taught me the most. And because um, it was a tough year, he was the one who was always like, he was keeping the spirit high and he just, he always encouraged me. Alright, favourite player you have played with and why? Uh, played with, um, Ross and Aiden, because um, every when I started, they started as well, the same same age. Um, every season when we've been like 2 and, two and 16 and back down to under 18s where we just missed out on the playoffs in the Premier. Every training session, we're just like a family, we go up together. Um, just, we just know how each other plays. Just, they're, they're the best. If you had one basketball wish for you or the Arrows, what would it be and why? For me, for me, all the Arrows. Um, probably for the Arrows, just the, the funding, just to be able to have, for the Arrows to have, just a good amount of funding to be able to, because everything, like everything they've done so far with the funding they've got is just, is just remarkable. Like, keeping the club going even in tough times, like, what I want to see when I'm older is just the club be able to not worry about money and be able to help the kids even more than they already do with the kids, because the family's always been back to what the, the, what the, what the club do, and the colours just, just <laughs> Thank you. It's quite good. <laughs> Some great insight from Arrow's young star, Andreas Lakoulis. Now the exciting bit comes for the games this weekend. Everybody's excited with the season starting to get down and watch the Arrows play. Starts with the under-14s away from home on Saturday against Derby Trailblazers. The under-18s will be at home in their first match of the season against Leeds Force, who are tipped to be well up there this year. That's at 3 o'clock at Kilimanjaro Sports Centre on the Saturday. And for the men, they have the Patrons' Cup game, as mentioned before, away at Liverpool. And on the Sunday, the National Cup second round match against the Nottingham Hoods, Dromfield Sports Centre, 3.15 tip. Make sure you're down there. Wes and Red support the team. Arrows Twitter question of the week is how many points will the Arrows men's team score this weekend in their two games combined? You can tweet your answers to at Arrows underscore B-Ball. The closest answer, or if you get it on the money, the, an the winner will get a shout-out on Arrows TV's next episode. So send your answers in. Well, uh, one last thing for the YouTube channel is Peripheral Vision with Ross Walcott. Uh, technical difficulties means it will be on the YouTube channel, not on Arrows TV this week. Hopefully next week will be slightly different. However, go on, have a look. Arrows young star under 18, Captain Ross Walcott, giving his insight on the Arrows. Last things from us, make sure you get down on Sunday to Dromfield Sports Centre. 3.15 to cheer on the Arrows against the Nottingham Hoods. We need your support. Wear some red, cheer loud, let's go get a W. Thanks guys, see you next week.